Hi, my name is Kevin, and today we're going to do a complete walkthrough for constructing a two-legged four-ball walker from GeoGebra all the way to a SOLIDWORKS model. And the way we're going to do that is divided into four parts. So the first part will be bringing GeoGebra into SOLIDWORKS and then creating parts based on the dimensions inside GeoGebra. And then the second video will be creating the assembly gathering all the parts and mating them. That would be the longest portion of this tutorial. So before that, make sure you get some rest, get something to drink and come back. So the third part of the tutorial will be setting up the motion analysis and exporting it. This will be the shortest part. And after that, you're basically done. The last part of the tutorial is only if you have problems in the third part. So if you run into errors or redundancies in setting up motion analysis, then you can refer to the fourth part of the video. So by the end, you will have a motion analysis video from SOLIDWORKS. So something that looks like this. And this is all created within SOLIDWORKS. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up the GeoGebra file you guys made based on the patent. And I'm going to use this figure right here and import it into SOLIDWORKS and use this to dimensionalize the legs. The way we're going to use this and import it into SOLIDWORKS is using a screenshot and then sketch image. So we need to make all these lines and dots smaller. That'll make it easier for us to pinpoint the exact location of the joints. So let's make them smaller, the lines and the points. Let's make the points a, a solid dot, smallest dot, and make it black. And then we're going to take a screenshot of this. and save that screenshot somewhere so we can refer back to it later in SOLIDWORKS. Before we dive into SOLIDWORKS, make sure you have downloaded the MA183 SOLIDWORKS templates. So it's all these files here. We're going to use these files to create the four bar to Lego Walker. Okay, so let's sketch an image on SOLIDWORKS. File new, part, and then sketch front plane you want to go to sketch tools sketch picture so you want to browse to your screenshot mine's right here and then you want to scale this image um, using the scale tool in the future you guys might have assignments where there are some constraints but for now let's just do a, a six inch stride here so let's use the scale tool, put it down here and make that six inches. So now the stride is six inches and everything is scaled um, proportionally. After that, we click OK. And then let's create points where the joints are. So you will use the uh, point sketch, put a point here. Here, here, and here. And that's why we make our dots smaller, so it's, it's a little bit more accurate. The next thing you want to do is draw center lines. So these will give us uh, our leg dimensions. And then smart dimension just so we can see them out of the sketch. And 
And then we'll use these dimensions to create the legs itself. So let's create the ternary link first, the triangle link. So let's open up um, ternary link. Put this on the side. So from here, you want to edit the ternary link. So you would edit sketch. And then just change these values to the ones on this triangle. So let's do four. 7.51. So And then let's uh, fix this fillet right here. Let's just uh, trim this off. Delete that. And that looks good. And since we know that this leg here is on the bottom walking, let's make a uh, feet. So it would be this, this one. Let's delete this circle. You can create the feet however you want it. I'm just going to create something simple, like a rounded, um, a rounded feet. So I'm going to use my spline tool and just make a feet here. Make sure it goes through this point. This point is the point that's actually on your trio profile, the joints. This point is actually this point here. So. And then what I'm going to do is make this tangent. And this one tangent. And then let's trim this off. Let's fix this fillet. This edge. And that's our ternary link. And then you want to save this. And next, let's do the red link here. And this is a binary link. And then the same thing, just create um, just modify this using the dimensions here. It's a 6.28. So it's really simple, just 6.28. And that's it. Now let's save this binary link. And next let's create the crank here, the green one. Two point one nine. Make sure you save everything. And the next thing we're going to do is actually create a base um, based on this GeoGebra screenshot. So we know that this point and this point, their pivots, they don't move. So this will be part of the base. 
So all the joints uh, on the legs or on the base, we'll put a bushing to uh, decrease friction and also to increase the tolerance. So it's, it's much tighter. So we'll be using this bushing. So all our holes have to be this diameter, and this diameter is uh, 0 0.375, shown right here. When you click on the uh, diameter, let's create the holes that the legs attach to. So let's sketch on the front plane again. And it's um, 0 0.375. So these two points are the fixed pivots. So essentially these holes are holes uh, on the base so the legs can attach to the base. So for example, let's just say our base looks like this. So that's what it looked like and the holes are where the legs will attach to. But we're not making a uh, boxed walker we're making animal walker or something creative so it's up to you how you want the walker to look like it's based on your own designs or you can grab an image and then trace it within SOLIDWORKS so for me I'm going to create a uh, base based on an image and trace it within SOLIDWORKS so let's delete this um, square base first Before we do that, let's create a center line, a horizontal line, so we know where our ground is. So we know where to put the wheels. So the wheel we're going to use is the six inch wheel from Servo City, and it's inside the templates. It's this one, six inch wheel, Servo City. And it looks like this. So let's create a six inch circle so we can know where to place our wheels. Let's edit the sketch. And circle six inches. And this will be for construction. And let's make it tangent to the ground line. Let's put our wheels here. Let's create a hole where the bushing will go through. So 0 0.375, 0 0.375. And now we can design the base. After we have found an image that you want to use to uh, trace in SOLIDWORKS to create the base, what you want to do is the same thing, um, sketch. So you would go to tools, sketch tools, sketch picture. And I chose a cat because cats are awesome. So you want to position this so these holes are within the cat or your design. And that looks pretty good to me. So the next thing you want to do is use the spine tool and then just trace the outline of the cat. There is an automatic function to do this in SOLIDWORKS, but I find it to be not as reliable.
my cat is probably going to look extremely weird, but that's okay. So that will be my cat and what you want to do is extrude 0 0.25 inches because that's the uh, thickness of the wood we're going to use and there you go a very strange looking cat so my cat is looking a little bit too weird so i'm going to edit this a little bit and make it more more like a cat oh much better so what you want to do next is actually create um the appearance because we don't want to use SOLIDWORKS gray so let's do appearance and select that the base and let's do wood because we're going to use wood to fabricate all our walkers organic wood and let's see i will use birch unfinished birch 2d And let's um, increase the mapping size, decrease the mapping size a little bit. So it's a bit more detailed. And there you go. That's your base. This is where the wheels will be, the crank pivot, and the upper pivot right here. Then let's save this file. File save as... Save as base. So now you're actually done with all the modeling. We created the crank, the link, the ternary link, the base, and now all that stuff to do is assemble them and gather all the parts. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.